<laughs> the Loop Connect. Whoa, look at that. You're right there. Let's unbox the EK Loop Connect. Let's get it set up. All right, the EK Loop Connect just has this little sleeve on top. Slide that off. Go ahead and lift everything up. And we're presented directly with the EK Loop Connect. You can simply just pull on this little orange tab over here. Underneath, you're presented with two pieces of double-sided tape, four screws off to the side here, USB 2.0 connector internal, three temperature sensors, and one two SATA to Molex power adapter. And that's it. installing the EK Loop Connect, a couple of the features that I really like are the fact that all these fan connectors, you could go ahead and put splitters on them so you can hook up any amount of fans, as well as the RGB connectors. I ended up only using one, but I was able to power three devices for RGB. The installation process was pretty easy. It has a couple of uh, mounting holes for the SSD on the back, which I went ahead and mounted on this SSD bracket right there. On the software side of things, it does essentially the basic jobs, but it seemed kind of pieced together, so then that way it kind of feels broken at the same time. With that said, I feel like the software will be flushed out when they develop the other hardware to take advantage of the full features of this product. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, and ring that bell so you can see all my latest videos. RGB and fans.